You know, when it comes to topics of Korean actors, we have heard comments that go like, he always plays one kind of role, she's always the same damsel in distress, and on and on. However, breaking out of a designated character may not always be welcomed, even if the actor in question is madly popular. So today, let's try to tackle several cases where our favorite actors and actresses may have been victims of typecasting, aka always being chosen to play the same roles. Number 1. Kim Woo-bin Ah, uh, the dashing star of School 2013, the heirs and uncontrollably fond, Kim Woo-bin is finally coming back this April in the highly anticipated omnibus series Our Blues. The actor had previously gone on a very long hiatus to heal from thyroid cancer, so needless to be said, his fans are super excited. This time, Woo-bin's playing a completely different type of character from his previous roles, a mere regular person by the seaside who leads a simple life. Looking back on the actors' previous portrayals, you will notice huge differences. In School 2013, Wu Bin plays Hung Soo, a rebellious and angry student with a complicated past. In The Heirs, he was Yang Do, a rebellious and angry bully with a history with the male lead. Finally, in Uncontrollably Fond, he returned as a rebellious student that later turned into an angry celebrity with a history with a female lead. The actor himself confirmed that he knows of the resemblance in a recent interview with Esquire, where he said, The characters I've shown you in the past were a bit edgy or angry, often with status. He also expressed that he's glad to play a warm and bright character for once in our blues, finally getting to shed his past image, and letting the series heal him. I have to say, Wu Bin's facial features, with sharp eyes, square jaw, and eyebrows that slant upwards, really give off a bad boy vibe. This is perhaps why the actor is constantly invited to play harsh and grumpy roles, to the point he's actively trying to escape his old image. Hopefully, our blues will be a huge success, so people may realize that, bad boy or not, the actor can be extremely gentle with his eye smiles. Number 2. Lee Junki Dubbed the prince of the historical and action genre, Lee Junki is obviously well known for his tragic vigilante image. To the point that, when the actor confirmed to star in the upcoming Revenge series, Again My Life, there had been quite a popular meme his fans made to describe the situation. Yes, Again My Life is a revenge drama. And yes, this is, what, Junki's fifth time playing a vengeful role? The actor's character is always tragic, mad, and skilled in martial arts. As shown in previous series, like Flower of Evil, Il Jime, Moon Lovers, Aurang and the Magistrate, and like five others. Throughout Junki's almost 20-year career, he has only been a brighter character in the 2005 series My Girl, and, while still tragic, somewhat optimistic and hero. Turns out, this entire deep, dark, gloomy hero image isn't wholly the actor's choice. In April 2017, Junki had actually shared that he never gets offers to appear in romantic comedies. In particular, when asked why he hasn't starred in any rom-coms in the show My Ears Candy, the actor answered almost immediately. It's not that I haven't been in any, it's that I don't get any offer for romantic comedies. He explained, I get a lot of hero fantasy projects, because I've done a lot of action scenes. I think my image as an actor has become set as an action star in the eyes of many. It's frustrating, especially as I get older. So there you have it. Chunky was actually typecast into the action hero image all along. It's not that he always plays the same kind of roles, but rather, Public opinion, directors included, limit him to those roles, and this hasn't changed four years later. Personally, I would love to see Junki being a charming and funny rom-com guy. The web series Seven First Kiss had given me a tiny piece of that, but frankly, it wasn't enough. Number 3. Ji Chang-wook Now, Ji Chang-wook is actually quite an oddball in the list, seeing that he had played a wide variety of roles, going from selfish action figures to simpler rom-com guys. From Healer in the K2 to Lovestruck in the City and Backstreet Rookie. However, you can notice some obvious distinctions between Chung Wook's action series and his lighter ones. Namely, the ratings for the rom-coms were way lower, while his action scenes always went viral. In fact, whenever Ji Chung Wook announces a new project, we can see comments quickly stream in, asking if the actor is planning to return to the action genre, saying that he's better off doing action, and that he should be picking better action scripts. The actor even announced himself that he found the impact of his action characters appeared too strong, resulting in him intentionally avoiding the action genre in the future. 
He also shared that becoming an action star had been unintentional for him, and that only when a fan approached did the actor realize that this had become his image. So ever since Fabricated City, aka Ji Chung Wook's final action work, the actor has headed onto rom-com lands. Sadly, his attempts to reinvent his image have not been welcomed, with series like Melting Me Softly spotting ratings as low as 2%. Hopefully, Chung Wook's return with the music drama The Sound of Magic will finally be his big break out of the action genre. And for fans who are still eagerly expecting cool moves from the actor, then good news! Ji Chung Wook has just confirmed to star in the crime action series The Worst Evil, and may even be the villain this time around. Number 4. Song Hye Kyo Finally, we are getting to the only actress on today's list. And it's none other than the gorgeous Song Hye Kyo, who has starred in a vast number of famous K-dramas, including Descendants of the Sun, Encounter, and most recently, Now We Are Breaking Up. While regarded as one of the queens of melodrama, Song Hye Kyo is often considered unversatile by many netizens. They believe that since the actress has a fragile and sorrowful beauty look, she always tries to look pretty and doesn't show much expression, resulting in stiff and soulless acting. People also pointed out strong resemblance between the many roles of Song Hye Kyo, seeing that she was a tragic heroine in notable works, such as That Winter the Wind Blows, All In, and Autumn in My Heart. Years of acting and not one villain or mean character, they said, never choosing tough roles or trying out other genres. To these netizens, the actress is always stuck in a loop of being tragic and beautiful, with nothing memorable outside of her pretty cries. As a one-trick pony in the public's eye, Song Hye Kyo had been heavily criticized when she was nominated for the grand prize at the 2021 SBS Drama Awards, with numerous commenters asking why the actress is there, criticizing her performance, and mocking that this isn't a popularity contest. However, it is not true that Song Hye Kyo always plays the tragic heroine in melodramas, as a look into her filmography will tell you otherwise. Full House, the series that pushed Song Hye Kyo to stardom, had been more of a rom-com, where the actors acted completely shamelessly and quirky, instead of being merely beautiful, as some netizens had accused. In Huang Jinyi, the actress had been a strong and empowering courtesan lady, and this role of hers had got little to do with love. But her attempts to change had been for naught, as the audience preferred the actress to be their cute and tragic little lady, while producers contacted her again and again for mellow roles. In the end, Song Hye Kyo conceded, and in an interview with news site Cho Sun in 2005, had revealed her clear exhaustion. I was sick and tired of my roles, the actor said. To be frank, I played much the same roles until I was cast as Soo Yeon in All In. I was really bored, not to mention the audience. I had a slightly different part in Sunshine of Love in 2004, but I concluded that my characters on TV will ultimately all be the same. In a flash of good news though, Song Hye Kyo's upcoming project, The Glory, in which she will star alongside the young actor Lee Do Hyun, will be a nice change. It will be a titling revenge thriller drama, and maybe Song Hye Kyo will finally be able to break out of her mold. So what are your thoughts about these cases? Do you think only playing one kind of role is a bad thing? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you want more videos like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. See ya!